Hello, welcome to today's show. I've got a case study for you. It's called Go By Boat. This is Dr. Chuck Radis's main medical memoir. But firstly, the show is brought to you today by the Structure Success Video Training, which is a step-by-step -step guide on how to plan your own life story project. And I'll have some free information about how you can get some hands on this at the end of the show. So please stay with me. If you're brand new to this channel, to this show, it's where we learn how to create life stories for family and friends. So unique memories can live on. And I'd be thrilled if you could follow, subscribe, like the show. So let's get into the show. What is this memoir about? Go by boat, its official name, Stories of a Main Island Doctor it's by Dr. Chuck Raddus. And it's a real immersive read. Basically, in short, it's about when 40 years ago he moved with his wife and his daughter to Peaks Island in Maine. And he adapted there to medicine in a world where, you know, there wasn't much available on the island. You know, you couldn't do x-rays at the drop of a hat. There wasn't those facilities. You couldn't do in-depth laboratory work. And he really had to just assimilate with the community. Now, I caught up with Dr. Chuck recently and he gave us the insight about about him and his life, about the writing of this book, and then some tips for us as life story writers. So let's jump into it. So as I said, you know, Dr. Chuck was, was on an island, it's called Peaks Island in Maine. And if you can think of uh, America, the northeast corner up towards the border with Canada. So there's about 150 residents who lived on this island or in that area all year round. It's very tiny sort of population, but it has a school, groceries and grocery store, and there's some churches as well. Now he's, uh, he's, he's had two daughters, but one daughter has grown up who's got her own kids and husband, and they've actually moved back to the island as well. So quite interesting family story there. But Dr. Chuck says he wanted to write this story, uh, go by boat, for his, for his own children. He wanted them to learn and to remember what it was like for him when they were young, when he was practicing medicine on the island. For example, he had to travel by ferry to see patients. He had to go by his own boat, sometimes even by a police boat. And he relied really on examining his patients, so doing a physical examination, doing basic blood work. That was the only way he could really care for them. And if they went to hospital, he had to go then and commute and see them in the hospital each day. So very, very uh, try, uh, testing, I suppose, environment to do medicine. So that's a little bit about what, what the book is about and, and, and Dr. Chuck, but the process he, he details for us as well. He said he was lucky in that he had notes of conversations and unusual house calls that he kept from when he was doing this med medicine on the island. And that really did help him then remember entire stories to include in his writings. It did take him a few years though to get the first draft or get the final draft together. But then he has written a second book called Island Medicine. He said, Second time round, it took him six months and he's actually onto a third book, which is on the way. So you do get faster and faster through this process, I suppose, is, is the takeaway. He did have some difficulties though, and we all do in our life story projects. The first one he said he was trying to find an agent and a publisher. You know, he put out 50 requests for an agent, which you know he says is normal for a new author. But once he got that agent, then they helped find a publisher and they also helped negotiate a contract. So there was a win. The second difficulty that he had, of course, which is what we all sometimes you know, struggle to, to deal with, is constructive criticism. Now, that's, in a word, feedback, positive, you know, helpful feedback. Now, Dr. Chuck said the best way that he found to deal with this was not to sort of just react to it straight away. Let that criticism sit and give it a bit of space and come back to it later. And he says, if it is constructive criticism, you are going to get something out of it. It's always going to help improve your writing. And that's very, very true. Yes, I would agree with this. 
Now to finish up, I want to go over some advice that Dr. Chuck had for us as life story writers. Now you could be creating a memoir like him, you could be doing an autobiography or biography or some other life story project. His advice is to start with a hook. Now this is a riveting story and you start your, your project with this so you're going to grab the reader from the outset and then you're going to circle back to the beginning of your story so to speak. But by doing this you're really thinking about your reader, you're, you're walking in their shoes, you want to make them engaged from the very beginning and subsequently throughout your project. So if there's a story that you've included in there that's not moving the plot or the actual larger story along, that's when you're going to cut that out because uh, Dr. Chuck says there's that, that saying, just because it happened to you doesn't necessarily make it interesting. I think that's really, really wise advice. So thank you for sharing with that with us, Dr. Chuck. So in summary, that's a bit of a, a, a taste of a case study of Peak, uh, Peaks Island Doctors, humorous and heartbreaking stories. And I've just quickly gone over a little bit about him, his family, the writing of this book, and then some tips for life story creators. But ultimately, I want you to see through this case study that by recording your memories, you're also helping to record others' memories. And it does, you know, help them be preserved as well. So that's a really great reason why you can start a life story project. So this shows just a snippet of a larger article I've written over at my website about this case study, Go By Boat. Love for you to go check it out. Please go to foreveryoungautobiographies.com forward slash go by boat. I'll have a link for you in the description to make it super easy. And while you're over there or while you're here on this channel, let me know what's your first career? Because Dr. Chuck had a very uh, interesting first job or career job and yeah, great adventures there. And I'd love to know what your, your first job or career was. So please share, it's always very interesting. At the top of the show, I mentioned the Structure Success video training. So before I go, I'd like to let you know, you can sign up for that free training. Just go to foreveryoungautobiographies.com forward slash structure success sign up. Again, I'll have the link for you down below. But this training basically helps you collate or curate your key memories, your key events, and then get them into a rough outline. So you can progress with your project. Maybe you've started it, you've hit a bit of a roadblock, not sure where to go next. Doing this exercise really does focus your, um, your thoughts, your stories, and help you, you know, complete or continue with your project. So I highly recommend that you check that free training out. A lot of people have got some real value from it. So that's it for me today. I'd be really thrilled if you could follow, subscribe, like the show, share it with a friend, even leave it a review. And I'll be back again really soon with another topic. So until then, happy writing.